So I'm finally back on this unit. I got an optical uh, pickup. Basically the laser diode. I ordered that from China. It took a little bit to get here. And of course, um, I did something that I normally don't do. I misplaced the screws. <clears throat> I don't know how that happened. So uh, hopefully I can find them and then not get them mixed up with the other screws. Now I'm in the process of taking this apart now and for this there's three Phillips screws here one there one there and one back there I got those loose and there's supposed to be two like like black grommets one of them was down in here I just pried it up with a screwdriver but the other side is for some reason it's missing so you gotta remove three screws in the back right here right there right there um, I still haven't tackled that ribbon cable yet. I'm wondering if I can do it without removing that thing. I tried pulling on it a little bit. I don't know. You know, I might end up tearing it apart. And also, right here, this here has to be gingerly pulled up. And then you notice the, basically the, um, this connector here. Then you notice the whole, uh, circuit board will, will come up. I just pushed up on this slowly and then it finally it broke free like BAM okay there's a screw right here for the right next to the power inlet I took that off for good measure and I wonder if that does a difference now all of these screws I've been pulling out they've all been the same size so um, it doesn't it's not really a problem if I get them mixed up and I'm hopefully this is gonna bring me a step further now it looks like that screw did something, but unfortunately, it looks like this whole circuit board's got to tilt this way so I can get to the screws here holding the whole CD drive in there, which kind of sucks. I'm probably going to end up breaking it or something. You like that? Then, of course, I want to be able to flip it back this way, like toward the front. So they get the whole CD mechanism out there's screws down in these recesses I think there's two on each side I'm gonna go ahead and try to loosen everything up and there's another screw right over here I think about maybe if I flip the board back I'm not I'm gonna try not to take that ribbon cable off because I'm putting force on it and it's like wow it's like stuck down in there and yeah, right now I'm in the process of pulling four screws like this and I'm hoping this will let me get in a little bit closer to this optical optical uh, pickup here. I've got no idea how to take it out yet. So I managed to get this by removing them four screws that are spring loaded, and I'm able to get this loose. This thing now finally loose too. This is just um, you just have to be carefully use your fingernails and just rock it back and forth, and then take this out. So. Um, there it is. So here's the actual uh, unit mechanism or rather mechanism that the optical pickup is mounted on. Um, one thing I do, well there's a couple things I have to point out. Normally when you do this you need to be use some kind of a grounding strap or at least um, you know touch a touch the case of a um, a grounded piece of test equipment or something like that to discharge yourself. I've uh, ordered a grounding strap but it's been taking weeks to get here so I don't have it yet and I got such a backlog of stuff to do that I have to uh, um, get this Pioneer unit and there's a matching cassette unit to go with this. I have to get this out of my hair. So especially what you have to do now is avoid touching like uh, the circuit board or the, you know anything here metal here that um, conducts electricity you want to avoid touching uh, touching all of that another thing I got to point out here is um, this thing here has got this um, this little <clears throat> what you I don't know I forgot the name for this thing uh, right here anyways it's got little um, springs on it and what I didn't notice is there's two 
they're the same size but they're different colors one of them is this black and here's here and one of them is silver and you press down on it these here are a lot more heavier duty than this so you can't make the mistake that I did um, the only thing I had going for me was I actually decided to take a picture beforehand and I was able to see what's what so that would probably be a good idea to take constant pictures as you're going along oh in case you're wondering how do I remove this um, optical pickup here from this here this little metal rail here if I don't know if I can focus on here here this thing here this thing actually you can see it you can actually see this thing here moving with my if I move this thing here with my tool this little plastic piece this actually slides out of the way and then you can get the whole metal metal piece to come out in case you're trying to pry up on here or try to pry up on there it doesn't look like it but this thing actually moves actually moves up and out of the way I don't know if I can show that close from my, I don't think my camera can focus in um, that close like that here and then you can just push it out this way so in here everything is the rod came out pretty easy um, I'm just gonna put a little grease on it when I put it back in since it did have a little dried up grease on and here the actual optical pickup this actually came out um, with a little I had to in order to get it out of here I had to wiggle it back and forth um, in different ways and looks like I got a I am gonna have to take off this ribbon cable unfortunately These ribbon cables are always a bummer for me because a lot, not a lot of times, but a few times I have ended up like tearing them. This one's got no kind of clip or everything or anything holding it as far as I think the other side where this piece goes into, I think that did have a kind of a clip thing. I hate doing this kind of stuff. So can I get it out without breaking it? Okay. We well, hadn't break it, broken it yet, but I might break it putting it back in. So I actually managed to get it in. Um, I can't take this out now again for demonstration purposes. But here's the old one. Here's what I did. I lined it up like that and then as I was putting it in there to get I twisted it sideways like that at the same time here there's a gear wheel on the other side of course you think well why don't you just take that off man that'd be easier but mine will not come out and I think I'm gonna break it if I actually do try to go that route so now let's try to get this little wire on here I read this little cable this little ribbon cable going in there but it's tough now I don't think I could do this a bunch of times and I don't think I can get it in further than that okay I think if I did, I did this a couple more times it'd probably break or something so I applied a little bit of grease to the shaft and then I go ahead and I try to stick it in you know um, yeah um, stick it in greasy take it out easy like um, like the old saying goes so I have to mention that um, yeah also these <coughs> gear wheels here if it's got hardened grease that's got to be removed and that's got to be lubed up again course not too little not too much um, that can either be done once you got it all apart or 
even now like I'm applying it afterwards because I invariably when I put grease on beforehand I ended up getting everywhere when I'm trying to put something back in so now I take the little springs and the screws and um, I gotta see if I can't find that picture I took and then put that back in the right way so I'm making further progress I tighten these um, screws with the springs back down the in fact the black spring goes the black springs go over here where the circuit board is at and the light springs go here on the opposite end I tighten them down but not too much because you're going to end up stripping down the threads just to their snug a little bit and now I think I made a couple pictures I got to compare everything now and make sure I got everything in the right place so now that we've got everything in place we got to remove here a tiny um, blob of solder here right where my the tip of my screwdriver is at here this little blob's got to be removed that's a protective uh, soldering bridge because this uh, pickup is very susceptible to electrostatic discharge and that's got to be that's got to be done so what I'm going to do is heat the iron up and then as soon as it's hot enough I'm going to pull the plug on the iron and then go ahead and remove this now I got that blob removed here you can see where the toothpick is at um, that's what we want where well, we had one blob before we want two blobs we want that short to be removed so once we got got it all back together and fumbling around with the wires and everything and uh, putting that one ribbon connector on that's underneath here um, don't forget to lock it either and then if we push down here we gotta lock this and as I said I'm doing this like um, right after I went ahead and removed the solder blob that little shorting blob that way be that way because if you do it right away you're, I mean you're gonna be handling it messing around with it right and then you might actually end up um, destroying it so um, I put it together as far as I could then I removed it I thought that was a smarter approach especially since I didn't have uh, uh, a ground strap or anything so there it goes it looks like um, the thing's working again I think it's important when you take stuff apart it's got to be everything's got to be put in the exact same position at least that's the way I do it every, I put everything back the way it goes and I remember every little thing even a little a gear or something like that and um, that hopefully this did it I'm going to hook up to a set of loudspeakers soon okay one very last thing I might add is that um, just a few minutes ago I had trouble sometimes getting the door to close it was like get stuck at the end all that is is there's a piece of L-shaped plastic going in the back and basically the the assembly when sliding back it's hitting that plastic and that's what's causing the door not to uh, basically the door not to close complete it'll stop right before the door ends and then that'll be it but it looks like now um, yo thank God for that so I think this concludes this uh, video I didn't do any other um, kind of adjustments I couldn't find any in the service manual so I left it at that.